Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekend reading for Saturday and Sunday, the 15th to the 16th. Spirit guides, what messages is there for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus already. The cards are blocking up. All right, let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, some disappointment here. Feeling guilty. What happened here? Underneath that, Ten of Swords. Seven of Coins. <clears throat> Could be something to do with work. Something that you've been putting energy into. King of Cups. Emotional and... Page of Wands. Ten of Cups. King of Cups. It could be somebody you're dealing with who's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be you. This could be somebody who is... Very much in love. Feeling something very deeply for someone. Got the Queen of Swords. Daydreaming, thinking about somebody who could be a single parent, divorcee. It could be you with the Queen of Swords. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot, but let's just see. I think it was like this and this. How to take this. Here, let's just try this again. I don't even know how that fell out. Tower was there, though. It's like a big shock, sudden shock surprise <clears throat> so we've got two people king of cups and the queen of swords we've got the page of wands and the seven of cups page of wands is being interested in many different things could be you know a kid involved somebody's kid your kid their kid who's a fire sign aries leo sagittarius it could be pursuing a new interest feeling Interested in someone new. And look how he's turned towards his Queen of Swords. Could be a single parent, divorcee type. It could be you. Could be an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Seven of Cups is daydreaming. Fantasizing, daydreaming. Trying to figure out what it is you really want. Needing to figure that out so you can make a choice for your future because you don't want to make up the wrong choice You got two sevens. You got the seven of coins and seven of cups. Seven of coins Is putting the energy into your garden your harvest is almost here, but It's just patiently looking at the results of all the work that you've put into something and it's about to bear fruit, about to be harvest time. Five of Cups shows this feeling of being in a relationship and that's the two cups that are upright. And then three of cups that are spilled is showing this regret, looking at the past, turning your back on what's really going on, what's currently in your life. And looking at the bat at the past and focusing on that and it's gone those cups are spilt still not over it basically right fool this is a new beginning a fresh start clean slate new beginning taking a leap of faith it can be on a higher polarity enlightenment enlightenment and uh, divinely guided type of personality and on lower polarity it could be being foolish Judgment is on the bottom. This is somebody from your past coming back. It's the aha moment, wake up call. Angel Gabriel blowing the horn, waking up the dead. Judgment day. Ascension, light bulbs going off. The aha moment, wake up call. In relationships, it could be literally somebody you thought was long gone from your life. You know, those waking up, those old issues again, those old memories Anything else here for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio, please? And there we go. Wounded warrior blocking. Fountain is on the bottom. Two of swords. Indecision. 
So the Nine of Wands is blocking and having been hurt in the past. And so you have your wall up. And so you block out people from getting close to you at the same time. You're blocking out new experiences while you're trying to guard your heart, your feelings from ever getting hurt like that again. So it's the Wounded Warrior card. The Fountain, it speaks to the... Now this is a card they made up for that deck. The Akashic Records, Beyond the Veil, Enlightenment, um, the Ether, the Source, Source. Blocking spirit, blocking source, blocking your spiritual side. Faith, I don't know. Anyways, this is Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. Let's see what we get. I, I don't do well when people, you know, do cards like this. And it's never resonated for me, this card in this deck. So it's not your reading that I'm kind of being, you know, lazy about or not wanting to talk about. So when I see the cards like the fountain, I, immediately it just kind of pisses me off. Sorry, because it's uh, in this tarot deck, it's it's not straightforward. Like, like what do you do with that? I don't know. I, I'm too practical. All right, so let's see what we get here. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And on the side, you have these two. New love, romantic feelings. Yeah, see, the fool knew. Something new has sparked your interest. You've got a lot of daydreaming and fantasizing here. Retreat shows that you're in a situation, a relationship already. Like Scorpio, literally, this looks like two different people that you're interested in. Like I said, one is already, you're in a relationship, turning your back on it. And the other one is like looking at something from the past. Or cups that are spilled. Those three cups represent celebration. These three cups, three of cups. It speaks to times when you are single, dating, going out to pop bars, pubs, you know, hanging out, clubbing, um, being free somewhat, right? Being happy, celebrating like a more light lifestyle, breezy, exciting, fun, celebratory. So it's kind of like you're in this serious relationship with the Two of Cups, and then you're looking back at what's gone with the Three of Cups. So Retreat says you just need to have some time alone with your partner. And deception's underneath that. Where you guys have quality time away from cell phones, social media, other people, friends, family, everybody to reconnect. New Love shows... A new person stirring your romantic feelings and literally romantic feelings. Temptation. Somebody else has stirred your romantic feelings. Let's see if there's any more clarifiers here. This is Amira Ceylon's Love Oracle cards. Okay. Oh, we know what that's about. Dark Mail. Twin Flame. Gifts. Oh, geez. Good luck with <laughs> Dark Mail. Friendship is this might just end up as friends, but ooh, that's tough. This dark male, besides being somebody who could be dark hair, dark eyes, melanated, whatever, it also gives me really like this like lover boy vibes because of the way his shirt's open and so on. Look at the smoldering look in his face. Romantic feelings, new love. No wonder. Well, then, in that case, have fun. So Twin Flame Gifts. That looks fun. Not going to lie. That looks fun. Hmm. This is Angela Hartfield's uh, Whispers of Love. Let's pull one more love card. Spirit Guides, what else do we have for Scorpio? One more card for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Now, you know Twin Flames. Twin Flames, they go that it's one soul that's been split in half. And so you are Twin Flames walking around the earth. There's the other half of you. That's that deal. So embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Ooh, spirit is just giving the green light. Take a chance on love. Ooh. 
Yep. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Have fun. Have fun, Scorpio. Have fun. That looks great. That looks really exciting and fun. Let's pull a goddess card, spirit card. This is African Goddess Rising by Abiola Abrams. Beautiful goddesses. What advice, spiritual guidance is there for... Ooh, that's a lot. Let's, let's keep going. Spiritual guidance is there for Scorpio this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, the 15th to the 16th. What does Scorpio need to know, please? Can you get one card for spiritual guidance for Scorpio for the 15th to the 16th, Saturday and Sunday? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know, please? Thank you so much. Any spiritual guidance for Scorpio this weekend? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Whoa, there we go. Iset, I set, or Iset, I set, Iset. I'm not sure I have to look it up. Surrender. And so this is showing a mother. And here is, I think it's the ibis, the bird. I'm not sure. And that's her baby. And she's giving milk. And she's just chilling, relaxing, and saying surrender. Take it easy. Don't be stressed. Because I told you, Queen of Swords can be... Um, single mom divorcee energy okay it could be somebody who works in communications or a teacher or a doctor lawyer something along those lines too but you see this person is very much looking at you very interested with this king of cups king of cups means they are in love page of wands they're interested it's not like they're giving you know you their heart on a platter and offering a diamond ring right now it's the page it's the baby steps it's the beginning it's the let's go out on a date let's let's meet it's an action card with the wands pages relay messages so it's kind of like offering an invitation to you to hook up go out you know dinner or whatever here it's saying gifts even very nice very nice very nice i like it Enjoy. That's what it's saying. Spirit saying, enjoy. Go for it. Don't feel guilty. All right. Mama Jumbo Shine is on the bottom. All right. Let's read this card. Interesting. 44. So, Goddess of Spiritual Surrender from Nubia, Egypt. Okay. So, Temple High Priestesses, Element Bush. Goddess Iset or Iset is revered as a magical healer and sorceress, she of 10,000 names. You may know her as Isis, her Greek name, or Oset, Aset, or Wuset. Iset has, was worshipped in ancient Nubia, the Sudan region, Egypt, and beyond. Her guidance, let it all go. Say aloud now, I surrender. These words cast a spell, breathe them in embodiment, release control, stop bonding around struggle, hand the keys to the divine, allow spirit to carry you and fill in the gaps. You don't have to figure it all out. God, goddess has your back. Have faith in where you are at this moment. Goddess declaration, everything I need to know finds me at the perfect time. There you go. It's fully green light. Go ahead. Enjoy. Have fun. Looks really good. All right. That's your reading. I'll be back with your weeklies. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Have a nice weekend.